My love language is your time and attention. Won't you give some of it to me? I've been lonely lately. I've been feeling neglected, and I want you to show me. Hey guys, I'm Anna Ford. Welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are new, I am a New York City vlogger, but today we are in DC. Um, we're going to be celebrating 4th of July and we're going to see the fireworks at the National Mall. So this is my first time, and my sister's first time, she's over here, uh, doing the um, coming to see the fireworks here in DC. I don't know what to expect other than the fact that it'd be really big, really loud, but I, I do expect to see a lot of crowds. We are hearing that there are street closers going on and that they're advising people to take the metro, take the bus, but um, we're gonna take the Uber to a certain point and just walk it. Um, we're gonna be going towards the Lincoln Memorial side. You can also view the fireworks on the National Mall side as well, but we feel like maybe we just do the Lincoln because it's closer to our side of the hotel. That way when we're leaving, um, we, are, we can get to our hotel back tonight faster. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of closures. We had breakfast earlier and we carried snacks. So they recommend like carrying snacks with you and waiting for a long time. Um, carrying a lot of water, it's gonna be hot today. It's gonna be like about 90 degrees outside. Um, and in DC, it's always kind of like humid. But anyways, so I'm basically gonna show you guys like how to view the fireworks in DC. Um, and hopefully our process is smooth that way it looks like you know you will do the same thing too next year when you're planning to go so but um a lot of people are here this year <laughs> from all over the country all over the world uh, it's gonna be fun i came to show you guys what i'm seeing too and it's gonna be the first time for me my sister and then maybe for you too okay let's go Hey guys, so we just got off the Uber. We made him drive as close as possible to like a skincare company nearby. It's like about a block away. Yeah, as you can see in front of us, there's a lot of street closures there. So they're making everybody turn. Luckily, we're people so we can cross the street right now. Yep, right there, they closed the streets down. So this whole area is shut down by the park. Oops. Over there too. Okay guys, so this area, Constitution Avenue, is closed and right in front of us is the mall. And then down there you can see that this is the tech point that we're going to enter in. Oh, something in my face. Hey guys, alright, so we made it past the checkpoint. It's over here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so once you get through, and you will have a gun or something, um, you can go freely into the mall and make your way to any part where you could get the fireworks. People are here already, um, just riding bikes or have picnics, whatever. So we're on our way, yeah, sure. <laughs> we're on our way to um, go to Memorial and then, yeah, we will take our time walking there because it's kind of hot. Um, oh. God, I see it already. <laughs> it looks so crowded. Definitely crowded on those steps. Already. Oh, okay. but I, I had the Adidas thing, but I didn't bring it with me. I have mine, but it doesn't fit my head. <laughs> All right, guys. So, what to wear? Um, obviously, it's hot, so dress lightly. Wear light clothing. Um, wear sneakers because you're gonna be walking a lot um yeah wear a hat bring sunscreen bring an umbrella yeah don't dress with a sweater you're crazy <laughs> but um 
light color clothing, you should be fine. And then bring like a, a sheet to spread out. I think that's it. Okay, so we're just strategizing where we're gonna sit and wait. Um, people are sitting on the grass and they're waiting. That's cool, but we wanna get close to the monument. Um, so we, I just think we should take the stairs on top kind of just sit on the side and wait. Um, it's almost three o'clock, so we have about six hours and nine minutes um, until the fireworks start. So I guess we should just go and sit on top of the monument and wait. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think some people are literally just there just to visit because they want to do more things before before six. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what people are there. Yeah, and possibly. people are sitting are probably the ones who wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure like like this whole place will probably get filled, but yeah, like this whole area, like this whole street would most likely get filled. <laughs> so yeah, let's go there. It is so hot. All right, let's it do is. it. Let's do this. Let's do this. You got this. <laughs> Spot, which is like not too far, it's right here. And then this is gonna be the view. Hopefully, no one says anything. Yeah.
Babe, I'll be frank, you make me lose my self-control You know, it's been two years since uh, they've done this, so. I feel like it was always like this. There you have it, guys. As you can tell, there is a lot of walking involved and leaving the area. But, um, what do I have? Tips. Okay, so tips basically, you don't have to arrive there as early as we did. You could have arrived there at like two hours before it starts, which is 7 o'clock p.m. and get a good spot where we were sitting at. There was still a lot of space left available. People were coming in at 8 o'clock even. But obviously, um, you know, do be prepared. Um, we just felt like we should get there as early as possible. Also, another thing would be that um, really plan your exit strategy leaving because as you can tell, there was so many people, there were so many, there's so much going on with road closures and traffic that you want to make sure you get out um, on time. I think another tip would be is to get a hotel closer by. If you're going towards the Memorial, uh, Lincoln Memorial, um, you want a hotel near that area so you can walk too easily. Our hotel is in Georgetown, um, so it's a 20, 30 minute walk from where we were at. You can take the metro too, but the metro is going to be chaos and it'll take up to an hour to get your train even, even longer. Um, Ubers, because the streets are closed, Ubers are not near the area. So you will have to either walk up towards Pennsylvania Avenue, which is where we are, and I Street and get an Uber there. Or you can walk to your hotel if you can walk it. Um, yeah, I, I think overall I th it's worth it. Like, I know the ending is always crazy, but be patient. Um, I just want we're all here to have fun and celebrate Independence Day, America's birthday. Um, so yeah, I hope all those tips and what we saw and witnessed help you guys out to plan for next year's or even in the future. Um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, and give me a thumbs up. Okay, bye.